10 Degrees Above presents Making Handmade Chocolate in 10 Easy Steps. Cacao fruits grow directly on the trunk of the cacao tree. Mature pods change color, which alert you that it's time to harvest. To access the cacao beans, simply take a knife or other sharp object and hit the cacao seed pod in the middle or towards the top two or three times. This will open the seed pod, exposing the cacao beans. The cacao beans are covered in a white, fleshy, edible substance. We put the cacao beans in a sterilized container and let them sit and ferment for 10 to 14 days. We add a tablespoon of sugar to help the process along. After your beans are completely rinsed, put them somewhere dry preferably in the hot sun, one to two weeks. After drying comes the roasting. As you can see, the beans still have an outer shell that needs to be removed. So during your first roasting process, put the beans over a fire. Constantly stir the beans to ensure that there is no burning. The first roasting allows you to remove the outer shell and separate it from the bean. After the shell is removed, we do a second roasting to enhance the flavor and aroma to get it just the way we like it. Remember to constantly stir the beans whenever they are over the heat source. Your beans will start to break down during the second roasting process. The next step is to add your beans to a grinder. We use this hand grinder and it takes us about three or four times through the machine to get the correct consistency. Remember that the finer you grind, the finer your chocolate will be. Only running it through the machine a couple of times will give you a grainy texture, which some people enjoy. The chocolate we enjoy at our house includes cinnamon, powdered milk, sugar, vanilla, and condensed milk. This task can be the most daunting. You must mix the chocolate and ingredients together for a minimum of 45 minutes by hand and preferably an hour or two. This makes your chocolate pliable and mixes the ingredients together to make sure that every flavor is brought out in every piece of chocolate. You can put your chocolate into molds or simply make chocolate balls.